We're back looking at personalities on FM24, and today it's another rare one, and I don't know whether it's any good or not. I don't know if you do. It's jovial. Jovial sounds good. It sounds like a light-hearted kind of individual that's very charismatic that probably keeps the morale of the squad up. But is that going to translate to football manager and for them to be able to develop as wonder kids and progress and become some of the best players in the world? Well, today... We've got five wonder kids from five different nations, as usual, and we're going to find that out. Let's jump in. And first of all, let me say thank you very much to everyone who's putting requests in for their nations. Out of nowhere, everyone's just decided to say, do this nationality on these videos. And, and I'm, I'm here for it because it's feeding the algorithm. So keep it coming. Today, Japanese, Australian, Canadian, American and Austrian. You might go, Austrian? That's a little bit out of left field. Why Austrian? Ralph. We are... We, I am desperate for Ralph to become the manager of one of our wonder kids. And I figured the best way of doing that is having them be a national, be of a nationality where Ralph might take charge of the international job. And he doesn't do the England job much anymore. He does the Scottish one on occasion. And he did, didn't he? He was the, he was the manager of, um, oh, what, if, what personality was it? We're going off piste. We're already off, off, off the beaten track. Ralph's Austrian. He might become the Austrian manager. There we go. So today we've got five forwards of jovial personality, 90 current ability, 200 potential ability as usual. And as uh, the norm, let's have a quick look at the mid-journey faces. We've got Kentaro Mishima, our Japanese. We've got Greg Anderson, our Aussie. Jamie Jacobs, our Canadian. Joe Kennedy, our American. And Maximilian Fishback. Fischbach, our Austrian, who's also Bosnian Herzegovina as a second nationality. Didn't realise Joe Kennedy was Spanish as a second nationality. Anyway, that's that. Jovial personality, I hear you ask. What does that look like? Well, let me show you. That, good, good under pressure. Adaptability is average. Ambition, nine. I believe there was probably a, a, a threshold where ambition couldn't be above a certain point. Uh, professionalism, down at seven, which is... Not ideal, but some of the other attributes like temperament and pressure being up, as well as important matches, probably do stand them in good stead. Now, will they be jovial throughout their careers? Will they progress and become pretty good players and, you know, develop into the world-class talents that they've got the potential to be? 200 out of two, 200 potential ability, they could be some of the best players in the world. Can someone get there with a jovial personality? Well, we are looking to find that out. That's the purpose of these personality tests and experiments. I want you to think... When you're looking for your wonder kids and you find one and you see the personality type, I want you to think of these videos and go, how did that work out? What did that look like? Educational, yeah? Public service. And it's free. Watch the ads that are coming up in a minute. Of course, I'm joking. I'm not. Do watch the ads. It helps pay for um, all this rubbish behind me. Yeah. So there we go. That's the uh, five strikers are all jovial. And that's the attribute breakdown. We've got them actually quite tall, 195 centimetres. We've decided to have big, lumbering forwards. Good at heading, good at jumping reach, and all that good stuff. So let's go one year into the future and see where they start their career. Okay, we're a year in. Four of them have got teams. The American hasn't. Not sure why. We've only, we've only improved six attribute points across the five players. Kentaro Mishima has gone to Yokohama, and he's currently playing for the reserves. 14 games, five goals. This season, 28 games. 17 goals. Three games in cup competitions, two goals. So he's actually not doing too bad. Max Fishback has gone to Sturm Graz and is playing for Sturm Graz 2. Made one appearance. Uh, Greg Anderson has gone to Sydney Olympic and just the one game for old Greggy boy. Jamie Jacobs has gone to Vancouver where he's played 15 times, six off the bench, nine starts. And unfortunately, he's only got two goals. So hardly prolific at this young age. But do you know what? 15 games at the age of 15 slash 16 isn't too bad. Joe Kennedy is wanted, but he's not got a club. Why has he not got a club? I don't know. He's actually been capped by the under-20 USA national team. So why no one's picked him up on a free? Rules? Um draft rules in america it's it, america is so weird isn't it for sport with drafts and all that if you're american and you understand it hey fair play i haven't got a clue it's not it's not something that i understand in the slightest so maybe that's part of the reason why he's not got a club who wants him well lots of lots of teams unwilling to make an offer while the transfer window is closed isn't the transfer window open in july i don't know arsenal villa liverpool united and monaco though so you know what? Fair enough. Or maybe they can't get him because he's 16. Oh, dear. It's already a bad start. Already a bad start. Oh, well. 
Are we moved to 2025 then? Right. Kentaro Mishima once initially agreed playing time and he's transfer listed by request for £5.5 million. He's a squad player and he is not playing as a squad player, is he? Four times off the bench. Uh, Greggy Boy is wanted by 11 clubs and quite a few of them are over in Europe. To be fair, they're all in Europe. England, Italy and Germany. He's valued between £1,000 and £3,500 actually worth less than the average car. All of them unwilling to make an offer as the transfer window is closed. Is that because he's 17 and he can't move um, to a different continent until he's 18? That might be the case, and that might be why our Yank, our American friend, hasn't got a club yet. Jamie Jacobs is at Vancouver. 39 games, 11 goals now. 14 games, 4 goals this season last season he got five in 23 so they are improving a little bit not as much as i would like but they are only 17 they are potentially going to kick on they are all still jovial max fishback is still at sturm Graz, and joe kennedy right he's wanted by Ath atletico ottawa in canada can someone sign him please i don't know why um no one in the uh, the mls is uh not signing signing him I mean, look at this draft rules i mean what the hell if I understood it, it'd be a great, it'd be, it'd be a lot of fun. But then I don't think, I don't think football manager probably understand it properly. So I don't think it'd quite work. Plus, it'd probably work better in a sport where that's the entire system for transfers. But unfortunately, because football, soccer, because football is worldwide, you do a draft pick and then you sell them. It just, just doesn't work, does it? Anyway, right, let's go another year to 2026 and let's hope Joe's got himself a club. Tell you what. If he's got himself a club, you guys have got to subscribe. Can't say fairer than that. Well, he's only got to move to Bayern Munich, hasn't he? He's only got to move to Bayern. Get yourself subscribed, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Anderson then has gone to Eintracht Frankfurt for £3,400. Eintracht Frankfurt came in, oh, £1,800 to be fair, rising to £3,400. I mean, what kind of skin flinty team can't just pay £3,400 up front? If you put add-ons in installments, we're just add-ons in it. Potential cost, including add-ons. I mean, cheeky bastards, aren't they? Uh, anyway, 103 in is Greg Anderson. Still jovial. He's been retrained as an attacking midfield left as well. Kentaro Mishima has been made available for the reserves. He's at 100 out of 200. Still jovial. He is. He's playing a little bit more. Not loads though. Not loads. Scoring lots for the reserves. Jamie Jacobs is wanted by a who's who of English. French and a solitary Italian side. He is playing and he's finally starting to score a few goals. Nine in 17, finding his shooting boots there. Two player of the matches, he's getting a 7.05. So fair play to Jamie Jacobs, not doing too bad. So as mentioned, Joe Kennedy. What's that off? Oh, wrestling, Mr. Kennedy, isn't it? <laughs> a little internal monologue out loud there for you all. Enjoy that. Um, for anyone who doesn't like wrestling, it was a mid-2000s wrestler called Mr. Kennedy. None of you care if you don't like wrestling. If you do like wrestling, you knew that. So, don't know why I'm going on about it. Max Fishback is still at Sturm Graz. And, yeah, 6 under 21 caps, 1 under 21 goal. No one's been capped for the national team yet. Sorry. Yes, they have. Greggy boy. One cap, one goal for the old Australian national team. Graham Arnold has said, G'day. Get him in the squad. you got to admire. I tell you what, you really do have to admire the moustache game in Australia. They love it, the Aussies. Strong. Anyway, things are starting to happen. Things are starting to move. We are moving through the gears, although a little bit slow for my liking in terms of them actually getting to their potential ability i don't think they're going to hit 200 i think we can already kiss that goodbye is anyone going to get past 150 i think greg's probably in the best op greg's got the best opportunity at the moment but we will see so on we move to 2027 but let me remind you to subscribe if you didn't at the start uh, joe kennedy got a club we've made a deal a verbal contract do not make me take you to court 2027 then okay so uh greg is at 106 at eintracht now can oh Kentaro Mishima's lost trust in manager. He just can't be bothered. He wants to get out of Japan. Sharpish, doesn't he? He wants to get out of Japan as fast as possible. Jamie Jacobs is on the loan list. What? This player's been listed for loan as the club are hoping to make a profit on him. Cheeky buggers. Wren have signed Jamie Jacobs for £1.2 million. Pounds. He's now worth over £30 million. Six games, one goal. 850k. Oh, sorry, 1.2 including add-ons. Don't forget about the add-ons, eh? Wren uh, 2. He's played three, 10 times for 3 
three goals. Uh, Max Fishback is still at Sturm Graz, not doing very well. Joe Kennedy is at Bayern 2 and yeah, just not playing, is he? Unfortunately. Let's compare Greg and Joe because they are the top and bottom. Polygons aren't that much different, are they? Greg's is a little bit bigger in a couple of areas, but there's not, not a lot to really to report. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a very early Ralph Watch. And he's the manager of Augsburg. He's been at Austria, Vienna. He's been at Nantes. He's been round the house as an old Ralphie boy. I've got the milestones. Elongated Ralph Watch. Hired as Nantes manager. Relegated. Sacked. Hired. Departed. Hired. Players. Manager of the year. Go on, Ralph. Take yourself that award. Augsburg. Second in the Bundesliga. Alphabetically. Yep. Once again, done by alphabetization. Uh, finishing seventh, missing out on Europe by Frankfurt winning a cup competition, I think. Unfortunate. Dortmund won the league last season. I mean, unfortunately, there's not a lot really to sort of discuss at the moment. The players aren't improving that much. Jovial seems at the moment to be a bit of a wet personality. And I thought it'd be quite good. So it's very enlightening to me. The problem is it doesn't make the best video. So let's come, let's jump through another year, 2028. Let's rattle through this. I want to keep things moving. I want to get things progressed to a level because there's no point elongating this out. If, it's, if there's nothing really to see, there's nothing to see, is there? But I'm hoping to get to what we need to see. And yeah, they're not improving at all. Frankfurt, no, no moves. 2028, I'm not even going to stop and look at him. On we move, 2029. Right, Joe Kennedy has gone to Lincoln. Uh, he's on loan from Bayern Munich. His contract expired. Is that his real contract or is that his Lincoln contract? His contract at Bayern is still valid till 2033. Deary me. Uh, he's gone to Lincoln then and he's actually playing. He's played in the championship 37 times, scored seven goals. 24 of those were off the bench, to be fair. And he's managed to get them relegated. So Lincoln got relegated in the most recent season, finishing bottom with, with one of our forwards up front, firing them to safety. Wren have not made a profit on him, have they? He needs regular first team football. Yeah, you've changed your stance now. Oh, he did go to Grenoble. Sorry, he's been on loan twice to old Grenobzi. Oh, no, no, sorry, just the once. Uh, Grenoble and Grenoble 2. So he, he went to Grenoble, 17 games, one goal. Oh, 15 of them off, were off the bench, but still not prolific, is it? Don't forget, these guys are strikers. Seven goals in 21 for Grenoble 2. And then he's gone back to Rennes 2 and he's scored 6 in 15. Although none of those were off the bench. So six starts, six goals. Goal a game. Goal a start-ish. And... Yeah, Eintracht Frankfurt, Greg Anderson. He's, I mean, six caps, three goals for Australia. Absolutely loving it. He's been on loan as well to Bochum. Four in 11. 15 in 20 for Eintracht Frankfurt too. And 25 in 34 over here. 28 of them were starts. That's a, that is prolific. 7.39. Unfortunately, that's not what you want to be doing, is it? Playing for the reserves. So we go. let's round off the decade. 2030. And then we're going to start doing some bigger jumps. Actually, no one's moved anywhere. Greg Anderson is now on the loan list as the club would prefer him to play more regular football elsewhere. His contract is up in three years' time, as is Joe Kennedy's. He is wanted by Dusseldorf, Werder, Hertha, BSC and Heidenheim. Can he get himself a loan move after that fantastic spell at Lincoln? Where are Lincoln? Did they get back up? They didn't. They didn't, unfortunately. They got to the playoffs... He didn't have the firepower. He probably could have done with Joe Kennedy. Uh, Jamie Jacobs is still at Wren and he's rotting away. Not affected him though, has it? He's still jovial, as are they all. We've not changed personality whatsoever. Kentaro Mishima has moved to Kashiwa. He moved from Yokohama FM to Kashiwa. Now, he played here 27 times, 13 goals for Yokohama FM. And... Yokohama FM, he finished ninth. I think he's moved to the second tier. And he's currently at 12th with Kashiwa. Yokohama FM are up in second, so now they haven't got a player who's crap. Well, we got 13 in 27. Some of them were off the bench, so fair play. Fair play. Max Fish back. Um, yeah, so he's not even been capped by Austria. So there's no chance of Ralph becoming the manager for him, is there? He's currently at FC St. Pauli. God, he went from Augsburg to Wolfsburg, and now he's at Pauli. I think he got sacked at the manager of Wolfsburg. St. Pauli, 15th in Bundesliga 2, and his strikers, 113. Isaac Janssen. Just saying, Olga Tittle. Uh, just, I don't know why that name tickled me. Just saying, Ralph, maybe you could sign one of these youngsters, one of these wonder kids. Uh, so we're in 2030, and yeah, it's been an absolute shambles, hasn't it? No improvement really whatsoever. So what we're going to do is I'm going to jump through three years now to 25, see what's happening. Okay, it's all kicking off-ish. Right, Greg Anderson has been loaned to Bologna and is now 
Moving to Bologna, his contract details, the mandatory future fee is £2.2 million, which means they've made a hell of a profit. They've, heard, they've even made a profit on the loans. Greg Anderson is moving to Bologna, and he is... He's at 123. And they're all still jovial. 20 caps for Australia as well. Do you know what? He's the only one that's been playing. He's been playing for the, you know, what's it, two? Frankfurt two. 147 in 236 overall for his career. Kentaro Mishima is now at Nigata. Nigata? Nigata? It's a double I. Is that Ni? Ni? Nai? No. Nay. Nigata. Kashiwa? Kashiwa. Yo. Yeah, he's at this team. And he moved for £875,000 after, sco after scoring 10 goals in three seasons. I don't know how many times he came off the bench and how many times he started. Look at that, four starts, 30 off the bench. But he's, he's not, not held himself in glory, getting a 6.77 over his career. Max Fishback is moving from Sturm Graz to Spezia. Uh, yeah, he moved to, moved to Lask on loan, 5 in 22. Joe Kennedy is currently at QPR. Wow, well, he went to Stoke for £63,000, where he did horrendous. <laughs> and, that, and that convinced QPR to pay £105,000 for him. I mean, all right. Jamie Jacobs still at Rennes. He's wanted by Amiens and Clement at the end of the contract. He's listed like, oh, we were loaning him out so we can make a profit on him. They've actually made a loss. How funny is that? Oh, dear hilarious he's actually been all over the shop he went to Altach 1b in austria and then he went to Altach. oh just Altach and 1b is probably the reserves he went to apoel it looks an absolute mess this does doesn't now doesn't it anyway yeah two transfers going ahead um no real improvements i mean yeah 123 to 102 but two transfers coming up so yeah let's we're going to jump forward uh, let's go to their 28 uh 2036 well we've lost someone who have we lost ladies and gentlemen let me have a look. Greg, our Australian, is still there. Our American, Joe Kennedy, is still there. We've got Max, our Austrian, and Kentaro, our Japanese. That means Jamie Jacobs, our Canadian, is Cantadian. Canadian? Cantadian? Uh, he's gone. Jamie Jacobs, he's not even going to show up because he had that much of an underwhelming career. He's already left the building at 28. Do I do him the dignity of going back and looking at him? No. So, yeah, so Jimmy's gone. Uh, now, Greg is at Torino. He's wanted by Vigo on transfer. So, I mean, hang on. He's been at Fiorentina. He's been around a bit. He's been around a little bit. So, still jovial. His personality is, yeah. I mean, professionalism down at eight. Is professionalism the be-all and end-all of all these uh, personalities? Because if professionalism is all right and everything else is a bit rubbish, are we noticing that things do do actually move in the right direction? We might have to really knuckle down into that. Anyway, sorry. Um, so Bologna, they signed him on loan and they had a mandatory future fee of 2.2 million. And then they very stubbornly had to play him 29 times to realise he was crap. Two goals, 10 starts, 19 off the bench. Um, a shambles of a season. Although he got 7 in 10 internationally. Four of them were off the bench. So 7 in 6 starts. And it'd be sort of one of those where you go, oh, I'm... Uh, yeah, no, we'll play him. He's good. So when, so when you cook someone a meal and they go, no, it's not great, this. And you go, I love it. It's, it's really nice. And it's not. That was a bad analogy. So then the following season, not only... Was that crap for a season? He only got him relegated, yeah. <laughs> and and that shambles of a performance, that shambles of a season, was enough for Fiorentina to go five point two five million, please. We'll have him. Bologna can't believe their bloody luck at this point. <laughs> they put him in the shop window. They've got themselves relegated, but they have at least made a profit. Uh, Fiorentina seven goals in twenty five games. I can't believe he's played for them that much. And and then to, and then they made a loss on him. He went to Torino. 3 in 21, 3 starts, 3.9 million. Kentaro is still at Niigata. Um, he's actually found himself a nice little home at Niigata. And he's actually scoring quite a lot of goals. He's found his level. He's doing the business. He is the top. He's won the league. He's a league champion, ladies and gentlemen. My man, Kentaro Mishima, has won the J League. He's the, he's the most valuable player. Top goal scorer. Shota Matsuai is at 125, potentially 132. So yeah, he's found himself at 118, being one of the best players in the J-League. And you know what? Fair play! He's won the league. Happy days. Max Fishback at Altach. Oh, he went to Spezia on a free, then he signed for Altach after being there on loan. I mean, I mean, what's this? He went to Spezia and actually did play a hell of a lot for them. Uh, only off the bench. He made two starts. He made 
50 appearances off the bench. He scored six goals. Uh, Joe Kennedy is at QPR and still, he went on loan from QPR to Anderlecht. QPR bought him for 150k. In League One, I mean, you don't waste your money when you're in League One. It's buying someone for 150k is a lot. You, you know, it's got to be the right decision. And hang about, QPR didn't play him in League One, yet he went to Anderlecht in the Jupiler Pro League and he got 14 in 36. No, no. I mean, they did finish second. But it's not loaded, so no, that didn't happen. That's just not right, is it? Because you're telling me that League One is a better league than the Belgian League. Absolutely not. Have a day off, football manager. Right, we're in 2036. Um, it's all kicking off. It's, it's, it's all going mental. Kentaro's doing brilliantly. Greg's having a little bit of a whale of a time in Italy. Um, Max, boring. Joe Kennedy, I don't know what's happened down here. Ralph is still here. He's been... Manager of Austria, Vienna, after St. Pauli. And then he went to Al Nasser, and now he's the manager of Norway. So he stayed around. He's 68 years old. He's probably about to retire, to be fair. But is it a triple Ralph watching this video? That should appease the Ralph fans. Anyway, let's go to 20... 2040. Now, well, all four of them are still there. 32 years young. Kentaro's he's dropped. He's dropped massively. Greg is at Gil Vicente in Portugal. He's not for sale. He's that valuable. He's not for sale. He went for 205k from Torino. Uh, he went to Cagliari on loan, scored once in 20 appearances. I mean, his, his, his stats for, uh, for Eintracht Frankfurt 2, let me go on to the other side. His, his stats for Eintracht Frankfurt 2 have really padded out this 181 in 397. Because if you take out some of that, I mean, it's, it's probably going to look quite bad, isn't it? Anyway, he's moved to Gil Vicente. League's not loaded. So he's got 45 in 81 for Australia as well. Asian Nations Cup winner. He won the DFB Pakal with Frankfurt. Must have played a game. So no, yeah, they're not doing too bad. Kentaro Mishima, right? He's at Nagata still. Uh, he's doing very well for Nagata. He's not he's not played as much this most recent season, but he has played a lot. Scored quite a lot as well. The J League, um, three times in a row Nagata won it. So he has been a league champion multiple times. As Gamba Osaka and Kashima Antlers. Oh. Gamba Saka and Kashima Antlers. Oh, that is the correct. I mean, yeah, to be fair, Antlers are in the badge, but that I'm, you know, I'm really impressed with myself there. That was um, good Japanese football knowledge. Uh, anyway, he's won the league multiple times with Japan. The Japanese Cup. Nigata have lost in the final a few times, unfortunately. Uh, Max Fishback is now at WSG Tidal. Uh, I mean, bored of him. Joe Kennedy is at Indy 11. Who are they? They're in the USA. They're in the East, Eastern Conference. I'm not sure. He's been there. He's, do you know what? He's he's not in... Oh, I've, I think I've turned the leagues off mid-sim because it was taking too long because was, they'd moved on. Uh, and he's now gone back. And uh, I can't look at it. And he's now doing amazingly well in America when really he probably probably wouldn't be. I don't know. Anyway, right, 2040. Shall we move? These are all about to retire very soon. Let's go forward quickly, season by season. Let's go a couple of years and see if, they get, if they're all gone. Right, so we've gone two seasons. Two of them have gone. These two are about to leave and they're about to go. A disappointing overall. Jovial as a personality is crap. Do not get a jovial player because they do not uh, improve very much at all. The thing is, though, is professionalism being at seven, not great, but now it's up at nine. I mean, okay, he's in his 30s, so he's not going to improve much. And to be fair, Greg did improve the most out of anyone anyway. But we're looking at Greg's profile. That is the end of today's video. Jovial is a bad personality. Is it one of the worst on Football Manager? Quite possibly. Um, I'm sure it won't be the worst, but it's one of the worst. A very underwhelming video, in my opinion, in terms of what actually happened. I mean, but then I suppose, was it? I thought we had a, I had a riot making this with um, some, of the, some of the transfers, some of the some of the moves, some of the hilarity, like Ren trying to make a profit on that on one of them and then just couldn't even sell him, couldn't even loan him. Uh, I don't know. Just because they didn't win Champions League and they didn't reach their potential, that's what's going to happen with some of these worst personalities. And we're bringing you these bad personalities as a, in a way to try and inform you and try and open your eyes to see how bad they actually are. Because if you see a wonder kid and you go, oh, he's jovial, that's probably all right. Well, now you know. No, it's not. It's really not. Stay well clear. Unless you've got some bloody good mentors and you can mentor the shit out of him. I've just sworn, beat that, Editor J. 
Right, we're signing out. We're off. Just smack the mic. This this video has now turned. This this it's really turned into a shambles. This outro. Like the video if you if you have if you're still here. Like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. All that jazz. If you've got any ideas for future experiments on the channel, let me know in the comments down below. Any personalities you want me to bring to the channel and push them up the list because we're going to do them all. Let me know as well. Other than that, take good care of yourselves, gang. See you soon.